Hello, this is Carla Sweet from Scrap and Create, and today I'm here to share with you our newest project. Uh, this is a recipe folio featuring the beautiful Graphic 45 Cafe Parisian. Now, this project was inspired by an, another recipe folio, and Ginger from My Sister Scrapper, she made lots of these recipe folios. I just modified it a lot. And I will link Ginger's video below and along with the, the original designer of the folio, I'll link her original of, um, video below also. Now this measures nine inches tall, seven and a quarter inches wide with one and three quarter inch spine here. The front cover is just using a journaling card. I actually cut out that oval section right there because my intent is to add a family picture in here. Um, but for now, I'm using this beautiful card as a, a holder, and that looks that looks very nice right there. Uh, I double matted it on, got black cardstock, and then this checkered paper from the 12 by 12 collection and again matted on the black. Same thing with these stamps, cut these stamps out and matted them all on black and then on the eight by eight checkered paper and then matted again on black. This whole cover here is based on this navy blue paper from the 12 by 12 collection and that navy blue continues on into the spine and then we have this beautiful flowered paper from the 12 by 12 collection that I thought was just beautiful. And this Cafe Parisian, this is from one of the journaling cards, put some enamel dots, and then this little s strip saying there's the best things in life are sweet. Oh, so true. Now this spine is one and three quarter inches wide. In the original design, this was one and a quarter inch. So I increased it by a half an inch so we can add more stuff. This is a, a wrapped chipboard in the black, the black um, card stock. So it elevates it a little bit, just looks so nice. Again, the checkered paper with this from the 12 by 12 collection, a little strip saying, enjoy the little things. And then I fussy cut out these pastries down below, and here is the back. Just simple, nothing behind it because this is going to be going down on a table. Don't want anything on it. So let's open this up. So it's held together by strong magnets. And here's little half circles that tell us we're going to be opening it up here. So we open it up, and it has two sections the left and the right. So when, now this, you do not want to put anything on here because we have strong magnets, the ba large basic gray here, here, and here. So we want to keep this free so our magnets can go together. So you're going to open up, when you open up this entire folio, there's four panels. I'll just show you, there's panel one, panel two, panel three, and panel four. So we're going to start with these first two panels on this side. So this panel on the left, this is basically just like the original um, tutorial for this folio. You have two pockets, a deep pocket and a not as deep pocket, but still kind of deep. So this first pocket, I just have a, a regular graphic 45 tag that goes in here. This back pocket is a deep pocket. It goes all the way to the bottom. And I have a large Graphic 45 tag sitting in there. And then I created this little baking journal booklet. You'll learn how to do this in the tutorial. And it's just kind of stitched in here. Those simple stitches to make these with... Let's see if we can find my center. Where is my center? just with some thread, just kind of thread it in there and make these. These are real, these are real simple to make. I thought this was a great idea. 
if you're giving it to someone who's a, a baker or a cook, they can write their little thoughts in here or any tips um, that they want to put. It's just something bakers, cooks might want to use. So I thought that was a good idea. That's going to live in this back pocket. Got the large tag here and this tag. So that's the left, left panel, unmodified. Now this second part is totally different, totally modified. Um, and this is a removable little recipe booklet. So there is four large basic gray magnets in here that kind of holds this in. So it's gonna hold in there tightly. So what this is, let me move this out of the way. This is to contain all your family recipes. The, the recipes that are passed on from generation to generation, your beloved traditional family recipes are going to be organized and stored in here. I, I, most of you have traditional family recipes and you, I wanted a place to keep them separate from all my other recipes. So that is what this is. And it's removable, so if you want to go, say you're going to your sister's and you want to bring all your recipes, you can just take this out of the folio. You don't need to take the whole folio. You just take this with you. So let's open this up in here. I just put baking recipes from home. It could be cooking recipes. To me, this is more for baking, but I've got lots of baking recipes from my family. So this is held to close by a magnet also. So when you open it up, there's going to be three panels. It's going to look like this. Now, first thing you're gonna see when you open this up is this page. Now this is flat because <clears throat> you don't want to put anything here um, to bulk it up because you have your magnets here. What I did is I found a picture of the two most beautiful women that have inspired me in my cooking and baking endeavors. My mother-in-law, Barbara Sweet, and my mother, 90 years old and still baking her bread. And I just saw these two images and I go, oh my goodness, it looks like they're posing for the exact same pose. Their arms are doing the same thing. Oh my gosh. And obviously they did not know each other. <laughs> so I put those there and then added that little saying, cooking is love made visible. So those of you that know that statement is oh so true. So this is basically dedicated to these two wonderful ladies. And then in here, I have a little pull out. Now with this, my um, the way I'm going to be using this eventually is I'm going to be taking pictures of my family. Next time we get together and we cook these recipes, I'm gonna take pictures of them cooking these recipes and have them all in here. So this is going to be holding the family cooking these recipes. So that's that's my idea with this guy. He just put us back in here. And then you open this up. And these two side panels are built exactly the same. So in here you have these recipe card. Oops, let me pull this over. Recipe card holders. You have a holder on the front for a recipe card and a holder on the back. Now what I want for me, because I want everything organized. I want to know what recipe is in here. This little journaling card is going to tell me, here's my mom's Biscochitos. We make this every Christmas. So I just used a little label maker, uh, made copies of this journaling card so I can have plenty of them to to store my, my the names of my recipes. So, and they're removable, so if you don't um, want to do your biscochitos, you're, you're working on your th Thanksgiving recipes, you can take this one out. And I have a little space that has extra little journaling cards, so you have extra ones that you can write the name of another recipe 
and swap out the recipes, which I thought was a good idea because sometimes I'm not going to be making my Christmas braid. I'm not going to be using my Christmas braid for Thanksgiving, nor my bizcochito. So these are all Christmas. So their, their recipes cards just go in here. You can exchange them out for another recipe and change out your card. So that was me keeping my recipes organized. Biscochitos, Christmas braids, my grandma sweets Christmas braid, always, always make this for Christmas. So these will flip and you have another area for recipe cards here also, and your, the names of your recipes will go here. Then you have this pocket. So we have this pocket right here. I used a clear a little envelope here um, so I could store my extra stash of these little journaling cards if I want to change out the name of my recipes. So I'm just putting them there so I have a place to store them. And in this pocket, you can put anything you want. So my idea is to have pictures of everything that's in going to be eventually in this family recipe album. A picture of our bizcochitos, our pastelitos, I have a picture of my mom with her white bread, makes white bread all the time, and Grandma Sweet's Christmas braid. I'm gonna put those in here. And I have my mom's handwritten recipe for her white bread. This is so precious, I'm going to laminate it so it doesn't get damaged, and it's going to be sitting in here. So, very, very precious in there. Same thing on this side. My Auntie Felice's um, pineapple cake, molletes from my tia. Same thing, more recipe recipe card holders with their um, little name tags here. And then more of my mom's white nut bread, iced pineapple cookies. I'm going to put these together and laminate them so I can have both of these also in here. And then I found this quote, if baking is a labor, is any labor at all, it's a labor of love, a love that gets passed from generation to generation. And that's what this is. This is your, this is your family. Your ancestors live on in these recipes. And in the middle here, I have this button tie closure and another pocket here. You can put anything you want, more recipes, anything. And I saw this idea from some one of the crafters, a baking conversion chart. So if you go, okay, how many teaspoons, in, how many teaspoons in a tablespoon? Um, how many ounces in a pint? This is all here for you just as a, um, a little cheat sheet so you can remember, and it's always going to be in here. That's a great place for it. And obviously you can stuff anything else you want down in here, and it's gonna be held tight by this button string closure. I love these button string closures. I just think they're, they're so easy to make. And then they just add a lot of character. So this is my idea of a takeaway little recipe album just for your family recipes. And th this is my grandma's tablecloth, hand, hand embroidered tablecloth um, in her crocheted little hot pads, hot plate pads. So grandma lives on everywhere. So I'm gonna put this over here and then now let's go to the second section. This opens up and we have these two panels, panel three and four. Now, in the, the original video, this was where they had these little inserts, these plastic inserts. You can have the inserts for um, four by six recipe cards, or you can have these single inserts, which go all the way down. So they're like six by eight and a half or so, um, and you can put larger recipes in these. But with the original one, they were held down by um, 
it was score tape and you had like only five areas for five of these pages. So you were kind of limited. And once you put down the score tape, you could not take these out. So I'm a teacher and I thought, well, let's just make a folder like we have in school where you have these little brads where you can open them up and you can just, okay, I don't want these four by six, this four by six page. I want to replace it with another um, six by eight page. I'm just going to put that in there and close it up. And it's expandable. So, oops, I didn't get that one in there. And it's expandable. So you can put, I was able to put, I think, 18, 18 or so um, of these plastic inserts. No, I can't get it back in. It's pretty, it's pretty stuffed right now. And let me just close this up. It's doing it on camera. It's always harder. So then these prongs just go down, keep it all, all safe in here. Oops. So then you have this front panel on this little folder that you made. I didn't put anything on here. I don't think you need anything on here. Um, all the bulk's gonna be in here. You could put like a journaling card. I might do that. Uh, this looks really pretty right there. So that I might put down. It doesn't add any bulk, and I can just write something on here. This is where I put my my day-to-day non-family recipes that I like, which is the first one I'm going to put. Chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> my go-to recipe for cookies. Chocolate chip cookies and some other mini cookies with the Hershey Kisses in them. This is where I'm putting all those recipes. And I have a feeling I'm not gonna be using the four by six recipe cards. I'm gonna be using more of these because when you're downloading, if you're gonna be downloading from the internet or you're cutting out from a magazine, the, these, these, these sheets are going to come in real handy. I mean, you can still put in your recipe cards. They're fine. And th this kind of land, uh, lays flat too, so you can just browse through all your recipes. thought that was a great idea to store lots and lots of recipes. Like I said, it, this will hold a, almost 15, I got 18 in here. I think now I just have 10, but I stuffed it with 18. So that lots of recipes can be held in there. So on this last, pa last panel, I have a little another button tie enclosure. And oops. And here I have a little pocket. Happiness is a cup of coffee and a good book. And I made it just a little tag. You're probably gonna put some more family pictures in here. Not sure, but that's going to live in here. Now these are holding this little little unit together. Here again, you have um, some angled pockets. Store lots of stuff in these angled pockets on both sides. I just have the large journaling cards from the collection, but you can put anything you want in here, pictures, recipes, whatever. And then I made, I just thought this was so cute, these little library, library cards. And then I just stuck in a journaling card in there. And these little library cards made from the designer paper and their little journaling cards. You bake my heart happy. Found that. That is so cute. Cut out a little um, pastry right there. And on this side, another little library card. For goodness bakes. Isn't that just cute? Another journaling card, another little cut apart. And you can put some smaller journaling cards in here. Or a photo if you wish and now this is going to be covering this whole thing so you can add lots of stuff in here and keep it all together nice and tight with your button string closure again I just think these are so cute I just I just love those so that is it 
So let me know what you think of this. Put that back. And then we've got to see, close this up. And that is my take on a recipe folio. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, I will have all the videos up shortly. Probably add uh, the tutorial videos. Every, you know, every every day I'll add a, a, probably two or three, um, and I'll get this up right away. Let me know what you think again, and I hope you make this. If you love your family's recipes, this I think I'm going to make one for me. This is going to my son. He's actually in, in pastry chef school right now. So this is going to, to him. But I love this so much. I'm I'm going to make me one too to to keep all my my memories also in this book. So let me know what you think again. Have a great day. Bye.